sister, mum and her partner. An investigation has started after a 30... Yeah, brave. Your destination is on the left. Well, we've walked around B1, walked around B walk around B1, we're just on the way around uh, B2 and we've done Hardwick and Smith School. Th those B1 and B and B1 and Hardwick and Smith are they're just like spawning in completely so uh, Smiths and Hardwick is pretty much uh, empty because of the spawning so uh, the lads and the bailiff said that uh, your best bet is to come down to uh, B2 which is just over here. So Three pieces of corn in it. Three, yeah. three pieces of fake corn. No, two pieces of fake corn. And a bit of real. Yeah. Yeah. So, I'm, I've had about probably seven, seven bleeps now on my rods. Um. So yeah, hopefully we get a bite. See you in a bit. Well, two and a half hours since we did the opening, and now me and Ben are getting a bit agitated. We had a run, uh, a couple of runs of bleeps off this rod. Um, not had anything off this rod. Ben's, Ben's not had anything on, on this rod either. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to change this rod. I'm going to keep this one out because I've had some action on it. So I'll keep it out until nightfall. Uh, I've got a solid PVA bag here. Um, some nut ground bait in the bottom. Oh, halibut pellets, uh, three mil. I've got one uh, Bonoffi boily there, just for making a bit of a mouthful. And I've got an iTunes pink. Uh, squid pop up so uh, yeah that's just that all and when this melts on the bottom pop up just be hopping on top of it let's put um, it on yeah so this is the rig the rig that's been in the water so what I've got to do all I've got to do this is really simple is just take this off the quick link just like that and then grab my new rig and then Pop it on like that. Make 
make sure it's nice and secure. That's ready to cast out. Well, guys, uh, time is time is quarter past six. We've been here since start fishing about three, haven't we? Yeah. So it's been three three hours and fifteen minutes, roughly. Sam's had a couple of bites. I've not had anything on my rods. But this is how it was at like nab as well, it when I went to Nabby. You were getting beats all day long, weren't you? And I had nothing. And then Ben's rod swung into life at night, so to be honest with you, I've got I've just sorted my rods out properly. Been spotting all day long, been using the new throwing stick, uh, putting got up half a kilo Uh, half a kilo of bait over. I've been putting boilies out on the throwing stick. Sam's been putting particle out and spotting it. We've all just been taking turns to put bait out. Yeah. There's fish crashing. There's, we're in a, like, a nice little bay where we are crushing it. Yeah. So hopefully they're moving to the shallower water. Or the same depth of water when it gets a bit warmer. Because it's not as pressured as it is up on yeah. the top end of the lake. Yeah, it's quite pressured down there. Um, um, one. There's, there's, there's no one, we're the furthest bit, so. Um. Sudden, <laughs> rods te just like, whoa, whoa, whoa. tearing off. So I looked at it. It, it wasn't. It wasn't solid. Like it, the tip wasn't going, hanging around. It was knocking, but then we left it a couple of seconds and the rod tip went normally. So we reckon it could have been a foul hook or something like that. Yeah. You just pick up and drop that. I've casted all my rods for showing fish, and they are topping over the top of the line. Yeah. So yeah, it's looking good. Yeah, to ensure presentation as well, we've got these uh, PVA, uh, nuggets. PVA nuggets, just so your hook link. And you uh, for, for those of you that know, you put map, uh, fold this around your hook. Uh, it's, it's PVA, so you, when you cast it out, it your hook, floats link, up hook to link the top. will stick up, split up, and when it melts, it, it will float to the top as well, and it gives you a bit of play so you can fire your body yeah, as well. Yeah, and then it will melt off, and your hook, hook link will just slow slowly sit down on top of the weed, silt, gravel, Whatever. whatever's out there, so it ensures presentation. We're on, we're on Bonoffi, I'd, I'd run on Bonoffi, what, you're on Tutti Fruity? I'm on Bonoffi, Peach Cream and Tutti Fruity. Okay, so I'm, I'm just on both, two single Bonoffis with a hook. Uh, 
That was right on your spot which you were baiting for tonight. Or was it a duck? I think it was a carp. That was a fish. Well, when you recast your, your rods later, when after hopefully when you get a fish. Yeah, um, that's where. That's we both got swimming baited up for uh, when we all had a fish. We chucked them down to the margin. Yeah. So it looks like I'll be in and out pretty quick then. Yeah. All right, lads. Maybe you can lead us to it. Oh well, yeah. Also, subscribe. <laughs> Well, it is, what's the time? I don't know, it's early morning now. Um, and Ben's rod has just absolutely gone into meltdown. Uh, it's, it's quite cold, as you can see. With his breath steaming up. What? Okay. Right, we'll see you. We will see you on the unhooking mat. Let's get this in depth. Guys, um, we've got the fish into the cradle, we've weighed it, and it goes 23 pound on the nose. So, my quest is done. So, it's just Here up, it is. Up, up to Sam now to, to catch a 29 linear. Oh, so I'm Ben. Come on. First time fishing linear. First fish for Ben. Yeah, it's yeah. a linear. Big. Beautiful. Let's get a couple of photos. <laughs> The Master. That's what it did with my son. Just sits there, doesn't it? Mate, I'm liking my reel. I'm really liking mine. I've had these out so long that I've got spider's webs on me. One absolute stonker. 25 pound, two ounces <laughs> of pure common cutter. Absolutely cracking strap. Uh, Ben's rods went off and then I sat, I sat up in the bivvy waiting for mine to go off. And then they did. On the Bonoffi, absolutely nailed. Let's get some photos. <laughs> Two twenties yeah. and two new PBs. Well, um, it is about what the time? Half four. Kettle on. I've not, I've not slept since uh, ben, Ben's fish, which was about half two. Sorry. Half three. Sorry, Clark. No, was it a three? Oh. I've not, I've not slept since then. 
the fish are jumping out uh, in front of us. Um, so yeah, I'm feeling pretty confident again. I'm not going to do redo my last stuff. I think Ben might be a bit tired. Lake's looking wonderful. Little swan about to go over Ben's line. No. Um, good day now. Um, not many fish available to me. So I've got a squad that's made up. I've got <laughs> corn, maggots, pellets, halibut pellets, sweet corn, and uh, curl pellets, and ground bait in there. So, yeah, let's get it out. Well, to be honest, it was a bit too well. We went for a bite, we were quite confident, but we didn't manage to get one. We'll stay for a bit longer, but then we've got to head back. Well, unfortunately, that brings us to the end, to the end of our session. Uh, pretty much, we've got about an, an hour left in the tackle. Leave the rods out. Check out our Facebook page, Instagram, in a bit. And hopefully, we'll be back down there very soon.